Hello everybody. In today's short lecture, I'm going to try and introduce the concept of linked list. I have already asked you to go through the introduction, uh, the first lecture outline that I've sent you. It includes basic recap of your C programming uh, concepts, especially for arrays and pointers and dynamic memory allocation. It also includes representation of arrays in memory and uh, that will be row major and column major representation. It is pretty simple to follow so I would not spend time on that. I would rather come uh, straight away to the topic of linked list. So before I go on to linked list, what I want you to see is uh, the disadvantage that arrays give us. I'm sure you have gone through the topics, uh, the list of disadvantages and advantages arrays has over linked lists. So uh, what I'm trying to show you here is how we are going to define a linked list, how we are going to create a linked list. So before we go there, you all know this is how we represent arrays in memory. So if you have six elements in your array, this is how you will define the array. The name of the array is A. It is a continuous block of memory where you have added elements. Maybe you have added at the, at the time of initialization or maybe you have added them later on one by one as um, the need arises for addition of elements in this array in a program. So you know A when we say int A6, A is the base address of the array. And when you write A0, which specifies the first element in the linked list, it is actually base address plus 0. 0 is the uh, addition you will do in terms of the uh, memory location. So you are at the first location, so A0 means you are referring to the element 9. When you say A1, you are actually saying base address plus 1. And if your base address is 2000, you are doing 2000 plus 1. So 2000 plus 1 does not mean 1 as such, the number 1. It means 1 location, 1 integer location. And the size of int in your system, sometimes it is 2 bytes, sometimes it is 4 bytes. So we'll go with the notion that the size of int in our system or in our uh, compiler, whatever we are using, is 2. So base address plus 2, 2002 would be the address of the element 8. So this is your basic array, uh, uh, how you define your array and how you, uh, you know how to write a simple loop to add elements to the array. But you also know that if we have to do some insertions in the middle, we need to, if we have to maintain the sequence of elements, we need to create a space to insert something. And if we delete something, we have to make sure we are kind of uh, moving everything to the left and maintaining the order of elements in the array. So since it is static uh, allocation of memory, you have to define the size at the beginning. So this is one major advantage of linked list where you do not define the size of the list. This is a list of elements, a linear list of elements. So in, in case of linked list, you all these elements will be present in the linked list, but they'll not be present in a continuous fashion. So uh, before you go over to linked list, I would, I would like you to go through advantages and disadvantages of arrays. So what is a linked list? So let's go over to the definition of link, uh, a linked list. First of all, what is a list? A list is a list, any list of elements. For simplicity, when we work with linked list in this class, we just create a list of simple integers, just like we created a simple int array. Okay, so if you create a linked list with the same elements that we had in the array, this is how it would look like. So linked list consists of a node for each element, and that node has a uh, has the element you have to put, and it also has the next point. I'll come to this. What is the next point? So linked list elements are not present continuously in memory. They are present at random locations, but 
you know what location they are present in so if 9 is your first element then your start you have a start pointer which points to the first element of the linked list so the start pointer will have the address of 9 for simplicity I have just put the alphabet A as the address of the node 9 so node 9 is present at address A so the start pointer will have the address of 9 and what will 9 have 9 will have the address of the location of the next element the next element is 8 we will create a node for 8 dynamically then we'll put the address of 8 in the next pointer to 9 similarly we have 5 the address of 5 is in the next field of 8 so basically what i mean by next field my each node consists of two elements one is the integer that is the data that we are going to store in our linked list and the other is a field that just contains the pointer so this will give you the address of the next node from the next node you can find the address of the next node which is 5 5 can give you the address of node 2 2 has e which is the address of next node 81 81 has the address of 3 which is f and 3 since there is no element after 3 3 is the last element 3 does not point to any node we say it is grounded or we say the next field of this node is filled with none so this is how a linked list is created or this is how you will represent a linked list. So it's just A knows the address of B, B knows the address of C, C knows the address of D and so on till the end. But what you have as a programmer will only be the start address which will be A. So in case you overwrite your start address with something you will lose this entire linked list. So we'll, we, in this course, we are going to do the programming with uh, in C. So I have asked you to go through the uh, concepts of structures. So how do we create this linked list in C? In for array, we do int a six and we are done. But how do we do in uh, this in C? So first of all, we have to see what is the structure of our linked list. A linked list can be of many types, as you must have read in your notes. You can have one pointer field or you can have two pointer fields, uh, in which case it becomes a double, doubly linked list. But what we are going to do here is just the singly linked list for now. So how do we create a linked list? First of all, we need to know what is the structure of the node, one node of the linked list. We know for simplicity, our data in this case is just the element 9 or just an integer and we have another field which is a pointer pointer to what pointer to another node of the same type because in linked list you will have each node will be of similar type everybody has the same structure so first of all we define the structure of each node for us it is int and a pointer to same node type i'll come to that in a while the structure is self-referential you must have gone through the initial notes. A self-referential structure is one in which before we complete the definition <coughs> of your uh, structure itself, we put another field which is a pointer to the same structure. I'll come to that in a while. Uh, then we dynamically allocate memory for each node whenever when the need arises. So. I'm not going to declare or dynamically allocate memory for 10 uh, nodes of linked list because I cannot do that. I can just allocate memory for a linked list node one at a time. So I'll do that and then after that I will create link nodes to the other node so I'll create a node then I will link it to other nodes as and when the need arises and we'll see how we will do it once we start writing the code for these for this creation then uh, one important thing that you have to do is you have to always make sure that you save your start pointer 
in every case whether you're adding deleting you have to see what is the demand of that particular task and see how your start pointer might be affected and you have to make sure that you save your start point so in this short video we have just gone over the introduction of linked list and what i'll go what i'll do in the next one is to just uh, do all of this with respect to uh, code and the code will be in c